Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue with the configuration that we started in the first two tutorials. As you recall, in the first tutorial, we covered the OpenCV. In the second tutorial, we did the contributors. And in this tutorial, we're going to do the, the extras, okay? So the first thing I, I'm going to do is uh, get inside the folder and uh, get inside. And what we're going to do is take the one that we got, as you remember, the zip, right? You extracted it, and now you get this one right here, okay? So now we're going to get copy and go inside the beta and go into build and put it right here. Drop it right here like we did with the contributors, okay? And it will become that one right there. I already did it, so I didn't want to do it again. And then, as you can see inside, he has um, the the 3D, three dimensional. It's got the classifiers. It's got a lot of Android, a lot of the CUDA, and really nice. Uh, Gary Bratsky included all the example code from his um, version two of the Learning OpenCV book. It's all, it's uh, really nice because you get to see a lot of the tutorials and the examples that that uh, that the new book it has. I mean, I, I have the book already. You can get the early release from, from O'Reilly. I, I recommend that you get a copy. It's a really nice book, uh, but it's not yet out officially. So it still has some bugs that in, in some of the examples, um, I will show you uh, how to go through, through some of them, okay? But let's do it together. So the first thing we're going to do, we're gonna open a, a terminal and then we're going to go into the, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go into desktop. CD uh, tutorials. This and getting signed to the open CV. Okay. Uh, beta. CD build. And then CD into the country into the extra directory. Okay. LS and clear LS. And as you can see, we're we're inside here, okay? Uh, actually we're right here. Right now that is that. Okay. I'm just showing you this so it's easier for you to follow. So what we're going to do is I'm um, going to list and get into the learning open C V version 2 and as you can see right now we're here okay and these are the from the learning open CV book so I'm just going to show you I mean you can he has a, a, a CMake list uh, text file there to do the, the CMake and to, to build and link but uh, in, in your case I mean in my case I don't I didn't want to run all of them at once what I did I I just pick and choose the ones that I want to work with. For example, you you maybe you just want to work, you want to learn how to display an image, or you want to learn how to uh, down sample and up sample, or using the pyramids. I mean, th this is actually is 2.7, I think. Example 2.7, and and so. Uh, you might not want to do all of them at once and maybe you might be having problems compiling and might be throwing an error and then just because of one little error you are not able to run any uh, ne none of them so I'm going to show you how to do it individually so that way you at least can run whatever you're interested in running okay and the way you do that is the way I did it was I opened uh, his uh, see make list the text file that he has in there to follow to do the the making see make right but as you can see is is it's got a lot of the other stuff okay but in in my case all i did was rename that one and i i went move rename and then see make list text and then I'm gonna call it CMake 
and instead of CMake list, I'm gonna call it CMake list original. So I remember. So you, later on, if I need it to run it, to run all of them at, at once, I know where to find it. Okay. And that's all. And now, as you can see now, it's renamed. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is take the template that we, we've been using in all of our tutorials. You already know how to use it. So, uh, where do I have it? Uh, CMake list and text. Okay. And make a new one, which is the same one that we've been using. Uh, where do I have it? I think I made oh, there it is. I made a copy just to have. Okay, so that's all. All you need to be to run one at a time. And if you don't know what I'm doing here, you should look at some of my tutorials uh, where I show you for the Raspberry Pi. It will work for Ubuntu also, and I show you how to run C++ on uh, using Make. I do Python. I also do C++. And let's say that you want to run, let me pick one here. Let me, let's run this one. Uh, chapter two, example 2.1 from C++, okay? So all we need to do is go change the name of the project. And I'm gonna call it just display image. And then uh, display image. Then I'm going to change the name. It's not 2.3, it's 2.1. Okay. And here, display image. And that's it. It should be enough. Then save it. Yes. And now do CMake. It, it built it. And now make, and there is an error. It's good that it, they gave me that error because that way I can show you how to fix it. So it's telling me that there's something wrong here, okay? So let's open it again. Nano CH2 X2 is 1. And if we go here, like I, I was telling you, some there's some some of the code has got it's got some some errors, some some of the bugs. So all, all you need to do is using here is the namespace CV, and it's here also, right? Because as you can see, it's here, but it's got the old old uh, um, lingo here. So all you need to do is go here. And just put CV, and that's it. And now it should run. Let's try again. It's, it's built. And now let's run it. Let me clear this so you can see. And now let's run it. And what, what, what did I call it? Display image? What is it called? Yeah, display image right there. Okay, that's the executable. So uh, run it, display image, and then just use lookup JPEG. That's a good one right there. Okay, so let's call it lookup JPEG, and there it goes. It displays the image. And that's that's not. Let's do another one because it's, it's, it doesn't show the as good or as, um, it's not big enough. Let's use uh, let's use facing. This is a, a a larger size. Let's do same thing, but instead of blue pug, uh, blue cup JPEG, let's call let's run uh, face zine with Gary Bratsky in his dad I think and that's right out of the book out of the notebook okay so 
and as you can see it ran it okay so you can run any of those examples if you if you if you follow the the way I did it I mean that's just one way there are many ways to do it I'm just showing you an easy way to do it so you you can get going in, in your projects okay uh, but this is the end of the tutorial uh, um, if you like this tutorial please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time thanks for watching